That's interesting that brand and brand strategy may have been top, not top of mind for a lot of companies in 2023. The focus, maybe the obsession was with leads and sales. And I think one of the challenges you mentioned is quantifying the impact of, of brand and brand investments can be uh, difficult. Do you think that as a marketing leader, that it's hard to educate other people because they just don't have the knowledge and the insight into brand strategy? Or is it that they're more focused on the direct correlation between if I spend X, Y is going to happen? Or is it a lack of patience when it comes to brand building? You know, what do you see as the biggest challenges when you're trying to wave the flag for brand strategy inside any organization? The simple answer is absolutely the measurement piece. Mm -hmm. I think it's a combination as far as what you ask, whether it's the education piece or the being able to the being able to measure. And when there's either lack of education or just lack of buy-in, it always comes back to the measurement of how do we know that is working. And that is the largest challenge of being able to do that. I have had the fortune in this role at Drift, ha having joined the company when David Cancel was still our CEO and then transitioning to Scott's leadership of having both very supportive CEOs that understand marketing and also have seen the value of branding in the business performance. So I would say I'm further up that hill, pushing the boulder than other marketing leaders are perhaps, but that's also critical to have alignment, not just with the CEO, but across the entire team and be able to communicate and demonstrate qualitatively through things like customer feedback rather than quantitative feedback when those exact attributable dollar in, dollar out metrics aren't available.